Hi guys. Yeah. It's me. It's your girl Danielle. I guess you wonder where I've been. I'm back. What can I say? I don't have any excuses. I don't have no reason for why y'all haven't seen my face in probably a year. So, let's talk about it. <clears throat> it has been a very, very interesting year. So let's start with a little bit of a life update. So, it's been, uh, if not over a year, definitely almost a year since y'all have seen my face or presence on YouTube. And honestly, the main reason for that was a depressive episode that turned into a depressive whew, period in my life. So, um, yeah, as evidence of some of my older videos where I was trying to take time to focus on my mental health and um, my isolation video, just trying to get myself together. I I was not in a very good mental space. I was forcing myself to do something that I wasn't really enjoying at the time, but I wasn't really enjoying doing anything. I really, really got into a very depressed state and it was a combination of things. Um, the main one being a relationship that ended and I talked about this already before, but for a while I was trying to heal in the same environment that hurt me. So basically I was trying to heal while still having this person in my life because I was so worried about what my day to day was going to be without having, um, having this person in my life. So around March of last year, I decided to cut all ties and I started focusing on my mental health and taking my therapy seriously. And we've come almost full circle and I can say that I am the happiest that I have been in a very long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a life update because why not? Y'all don't know what's been going on in my life over the last year, so let's talk about it. So basically, um, I don't know if you can tell because my hair is actually looking pretty big today, but I cut all my hair off in November. So we're in January now. Happy New Year to everybody. But in November, I made the decision to cut my hair after 13 years of being a natural girly. So basically, that decision came after I had um, extensive heat damage to my hair. Um... I have recorded footage of me crying about it and I was going to put it in a vlog, but I have so much footage that I never actually um, edited, some that I did edit, some that I wasn't really happy with. So, But basically I got my hair um, flat ironed and it was on very high heat. Um, and then right behind it I went into a rubber band style that required me to press the front of my hair again. and. It, I was just unaware. I just thought, you know, oh, my hair's never been damaged by heat before. So I thought it was stronger than it actually is. But my naivete mixed with the high heat of her flat iron, it was definitely too high. I damaged the texture of my hair. So, so after 13 years of being a ungrateful natural hair girly, I finally experienced what it was like to have a traumatic hair experience. So for basically almost the entire year, I struggled with two different hair textures as it was growing out. So at the beginning of 2023, I said I wanted waist length hair by the end of 2023. And I, not only did I not get that, I also cut it all off to where I had none. So I'll um, insert a picture of what it looked like the day I cut it. So it's been, November, December, it's been almost three months since I cut my hair and this is the result. It's growing like crazy um, and I'll tell you guys about what I've been doing to maintain my hair as well as to help it grow. It's so healthy, it's so thick, it's very uneven. I got it cut in a heart shape so it's very 
it's very deceiving as far as how damaged it actually was the whole entire front is broken off as you can see by these tiny short pieces right here so i have very short pieces here in the front and then just behind it it gets very long um and the back is actually kind of short but the texture wasn't that bad in the back because it didn't re require me to apply heat to it twice but anyways needless to say it's very uneven and choppy when it's done you can't really tell but one of my goals is to grow my hair back healthy and long and i've been doing really really good so far so one thing that i've been doing that requires a lot of energy is i've been deep conditioning every single week so every sunday i deep condition with a heating cap no questions asked and i've been doing that for the last month and it's it's definitely showing so that's the first thing that's different about me i cut all my hair off another thing is i've been on a health journey for the last almost four months beginning in october October, I started working with a personal trainer um, and I changed my diet and my eating habits as well as um, added an exercise regimen and I'm down almost 35 pounds so that's another thing about me hopefully y'all can tell my face is a little slim hopefully because the scale tells me I've lost 30 pounds I don't feel it, but other people tell me I have, so I don't know. But honestly, it could have been more by this point. Old habits are really hard to break, but that's neither here nor there. I get up every day and I make the choice to eat right or not. And some days I choose not to. And that's just the reality that I have to face. So cut my hair off. Been, I didn't want to wait until the new year to start. I wanted to start when I wanted to start and I didn't make any excuses. I just got up and I started and so i'm really proud of myself for that because it's the first time i've been proactive about losing weight outside of me saying i'm gonna go to the gym and just changing up my diet for a few days so this is the most consistent i've ever been in my entire life um and it's 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 fun i'm lying the gym is not fun i hate it but seeing the results is very fun and hopefully in another year i'll be unrecognizable as far as looks are concerned um, my therapist said that I need to eliminate the word discipline from my vocabulary and replace it with choices because I always said, oh, I lack discipline. I don't, I, I'm not disciplined enough to do this and things like that. She was like, stop using the word discipline. It's all about choices. Either you choose to do it or you choose not to do it. And once she told me that and I put it in my brain, it was life changing. So, oh, all right, my bad my friend called me to talk about absolutely nothing and now I've lost my place but anyways back to what I was saying about changing my language around doing things that I don't like changed my life so I'm on a health journey and it's great um another thing your girl is on in her hobby bag I have been devouring one after the other hobby so I want this year to be all about learning and so the first thing that I want to talk about is reading. Um, my friends and my family know that I'm an avid reader and I have been for as long as I can remember. So I got back into reading. I hadn't read a book in oh, I don't know how long because you know I'm trying to occupy my time with other people and filling up these quiet spaces in my day. I forgot to do the one thing that I've always loved to do, which is read. And so I'm trying to think what book restarted my obsession, Fourth Wing. So I read Fourth Wing when I went on a cruise. I actually went on a cruise with my friend and my mom in December, the exact same cruise that I went on at the beginning of January of last year and I read the entire book on the cruise and when I tell y'all I was hooked your girl was hooked and I couldn't wait to get home because I had the second one waiting for me at home and I finished it the evening before we got back home and those eight hours without my book including sleeping time was awful because I could not wait to get back to read the second book so 
I highly recommend Fourth Wing and Iron Flame. I'm a little late to the party because like I said, I hadn't read it, but I just heard one review on it and I was like, and I had been seeing it in my audio, on my Audible multiple times. And I read it and it was a domino effect. When I tell y'all I have been devouring book after book after book, I'm not kidding. I tried to start a book club with two of my friends, but they don't like the same type of books that I like. Also, they don't, they're not super avid readers like me. So I consume books every two or three days. I'm, I'm on to a new book, but them, it'll take them maybe a month, which I don't judge. I, I, everybody have lives. One of them has kids. One of them is married with a husband and she's a business owner. So I don't judge her, neither one of them for not being able to read as quick as me. So. I don't know if that's gonna work out but I want to show y'all what I'm currently reading so this book God of Malice by Rena Kent I just finished it this morning and the entire series has me in a chokehold when I tell y'all Rena Kent know how to write some spicy books so basically I read them out of order. I just read the first one of the series. Even though it is a series, they're all standalone books and you don't have to read them in order. I actually read this one first, which is the fourth book in the series, God of Fury. It was good. So I read, the order I read them in was the, no, that's the fifth book. So I read the fifth, then I read the third. I just finished the first and I guess I'll, I'll, um, read the second one because that's the only one that I have left um I loaned my friend the other one and she actually said she tried to start reading it and it wasn't her cup of tea and I have to accept that fact I can't keep trying to force my favorite genre on other people so we're gonna either have to limit it to me reading certain books with her and then certain certain books with other people but that's what I'm all about these days no judgment and not being upset when somebody doesn't like the same things that I like or can't commit to the same things that I commit to. So, hobby number one, reading. And actually when I ordered these, I ordered the special edition, but, and I ordered them and had them sent to my house, but they didn't have the special edition online, so it doesn't match. So I'm probably gonna have to get the special edition of God of Wrath because I actually like the covers of the special edition, but. Your girl been reading and it feels amazing. I do have to make sure that I get all of my um, obligations out the way because um, once I start reading, I don't want to do anything else. I'm irresponsible whenever I read. So I've been reading. My other hobby is I am learning how to crochet. So I just finished or mostly finished this scarf that my nanny is going to help me. <laughs> There's dog hair all over this thing. So aside from dust, there's dog hair all over it because y'all know Phoenix leave her glitter everywhere. But anyways, this is a scarf that I just finished crocheting. I tied off the end so it wouldn't un unravel. Uh, the end is not tied off like I thought it was but this is a pretty cream colored scarf and my nanny is gonna help me put tassels on it but this is my other current obsession y'all when I say if I'm not reading a book I'm crocheting and if I'm crocheting I'm listening to an audiobook and I've been having the time of my life when I tell y'all my little old lady hobbies they make me very very happy so and also, I, this is my reference book. It's a little crass, but it's a good reference book. She's um, teaching me how to read patterns because by the end of this year, I wanna be making some clothes. And I feel like I can do it. I just have to dedicate my time and energy, which I have been. So she, my nanny even gave me a little old lady crochet bag to put my stuff in. It's so cute. For those of you who do know or don't, I'm no quitter. Usually when I start something, I perfect it. Or I work really hard with the exception of the guitar. I still haven't picked it back up. 
the person that I was telling y'all about a few minutes ago kind of um, put a bad taste in my mouth about the guitar. Not anymore. I'm not unwilling to pick it back up. I just haven't found the energy to do so. But for a while, I felt like I didn't want to pick it up because it, it you know, what was I saying? I'm not a quitter. I did quit the guitar. Not permanently though. One of my goals is to get back into the guitar, which is also why I haven't put nails on. As much as I've been itching to put nails on, I'm holding out because one of these days I'm just gonna get it in my head that I wanna pick up the guitar, start strumming again. And I don't want my nails to be an excuse for why I don't do it. Haven't done it, but I, I feel it. I just feel it in my bones. So, reading, crochet, Working on a guitar, your girl is a plant mom again. <sighs> I'm a plant mom again. I killed all but maybe two or three plants during my depression and those were my babies. I, um, I killed them all. I killed them all with the exception of just a few. Um, I do wanna film a updated plant tour because I've been you know, investing in plants again, and I am really, really once again enjoying taking care of my plants. But I'm all, I'm gonna give you guys a tour and do some plant chores with y'all in another video. But I have so many cool plants and I can't wait to show y'all, but they are thriving. I, the uh, plants was another thing that I introduced to this person that we bonded over and when I was in a mood to, when I wasn't in the mood, I really wasn't in the mood to the point that it was just obligatory that I turned my greenhouse on just for the sake of it. I neglected in watering them. I killed almost all of them with the exception of one that refused to die um, in the greenhouse. And then I propagated three or four of them that had died all the way down to the stump. So I propagated some wet sticks and they have come back and I cannot wait to see how well they're gonna grow. I can't wait to see how they're gonna grow with my new attitude, reinvigorated attitude. So I'm just really, really happy. And I've been saying that a lot, y'all. Like I've been saying that so much. I probably said it two or three times this week about how happy I am. Just, I haven't felt this good in a long time. I, it's been, uh, it's been years, you know. I used to, I used to be so carefree and just independent and love to go places by myself. And I lost that desire and started depending on other people to go places and do things to the point where I became reclusive because I didn't have anybody to go anywhere with. So I stayed inside, just eating, watching TV, things like that. And the moment I severed ties with the toxicity in my life and began to really focus on my mental health and putting myself first and just filling myself with self-love and choosing myself over any type of romantic relationship, I really, really started to thrive. And I can say without a doubt that this has been one of the toughest um, years I've had in a long time. And I mean, I've, you know, I've been through breakups, you know, I've been through breakups that were devastating and heartbreaking, but this one took the cake because it was just a betrayal like no other. Um, so it did take me a little bit longer to remember who the fuck I was, but I remembered eventually. I'm back, baby, I'm back. So I guess I said all of that to say is I am hoping to become consistent posting on YouTube again. I don't know if it's gonna be several times a week like I used to try to do. It might only be weekly. I was trying to keep up with the algorithm and it was exhausting. And I, I'm a business owner and I have a, a full-time schedule. And it was not, it was an obligation rather than something that was fun and um, fulfilling. So I'm gonna do it on my own terms, but I will try to be more consistent uploading that is a promise that I'm making to myself, not necessarily to you guys, although I love you guys so much. I'm still holding my crochet needle. But 
hopefully my next video will be either a day in the life or a plant tour whichever one comes first in my editing but i have those and we're just gonna keep the ball rolling y'all just gonna have to forgive me or don't forgive me but i hope that y'all stick around um because that's another thing i want to upload videos that i'm passionate about i was so busy trying to fit into a niche that i didn't personally fit into you know i was so busy trying to consume things that i saw people on the internet buying you know i was all about trying to be aesthetically pleasing um even in this small apartment uh you know just trying to put up a front like i had this glamorous lifestyle when in reality i'm regular as hell and they say to you know stick within a niche of i don't know i, I just want to do whatever i just want to show y'all the things that i enjoy which includes you know being a nail tech being a plant mom crocheting there's so many different things that i see videos on and people only post about that i just want to you know give y'all a little slice of life from this corner of the internet called danielle's world so i'm just gonna go with it if y'all watch it thank you if the you know if the internet doesn't care about it also oh well um but yeah so i'm going to sign off here but i want y'all to make sure you drop a comment if you feel like this was a good enough explanation for my time off but also um let me know what y'all want to see from me but make sure you subscribe and like this video because we are still about to have fun y'all just wait just wait i was depressed as hell when i was posting them videos wait till y'all see the dope the danielle who's not depressed and it's not forced and this is just who she is because y'all about to be like where was she hiding all this time but y'all make sure y'all stick around because we gonna have fun okay bye it's still funny after all this time.